This video is a demonstration of what's an acceptable returned electrostatic cell and what's a not acceptable returned electrostatic cell. To start with the mesh filter on the left here, this is an acceptable returned mesh filter. It's dirty, but the filter itself is in good shape. The frame is, is good and strong. Here's the cell. Uh, this is a dirty cell, but again, the frame is in good shape. None of the fins are bent. The ionizer wires are intact. So this is what we're looking to get as a return cell. This is an example of a mesh filter that would not be accepted as a returned part. There's a piece missing here and the filter is wobbly. It's, it's not good. So uh, this is bad. It's a bad mesh filter. And last is a cell that's burned this cell couldn't be cleaned um, and you just don't want to let a cell get this far gone uh, even though it's structurally intact the amount of water it would take and detergent to try to clean that would be and it's not cleanable this is a close-up of the fins in the for the a cell sometimes they could be straightened but here you see the frame is bent and that'll cause the cell to ground out in most cases. So again, we're looking for the frame on the return cells to be straight to get a credit back um, for the cleaned and straight cells we sent you. Uh, here's, here's an example also of the uh, of bent um, fins between the ionizer wires. In many instances, we can straighten those, but um, sometimes we can't. And if they're missing, then that's a problem. Same thing with ionizer wires. Um, if they're missing, then um, we're going to have to replace those if we can reuse the cell. And that would be reflected in the credit. Here's just a close-up of your fins. The, there are some fins that are being that are bent, but they could be straightened. <clears throat> and uh, again, that, that cell could probably be repaired.